Hello everybody, this is Carl. Um, I teach violin and viola at the Community Music Center of Boston. And um, this video is what to do if you open your violin case and you see this, which uh, if you can't tell, what's missing is the fact that the bridge of the violin has come off and um, needs to be put back on again. So this is a video about how to put the bridge on to the violin. Um, the bridge, I remember when I first, when I was little and found out that the bridge was not actually glued on, that was um, a revelation for me. The bridge is held in place by the tension of the strings. And so there's no glue involved. Um, so you, uh, so it's just a matter of getting the strings tight and the pressure keeps the bridge on the violin. So um, if you encounter yourself, or if you're in this situation, bridge is off. First of all, you need to figure out what side is facing or what direction. So the way to see, if you notice the bridge is not quite uh, even semicircle, it's more sloped on this side and higher on this side. The higher side is for the lower string. So the lower strings on the violin are on the left, the G string and the D string. This would also apply to the viola, same rules. Um, there's the viola. Um, so look for the side that's higher to be the lower, to be where the lower strings would go. Also, usually there's writing on the bridge that they put on so it's facing the player. You, you have to tuck the bridge underneath the strings and kind of prop it up that way. If the strings are really tight, then you'd want to loosen the strings um, until, you know, pull, make the pegs go this way towards you until the strings are really loose and you can comfortably get the bridge underneath the strings. A um, couple things to be aware of. The E string usually has this uh, little rubber thing that needs to go, it protects the bridge and it goes in the little uh, rut that's been made there. So you make sure it's sort of on the edge of the thing there. Um, lining up the strings, making sure they're going in the grooves. Um, important placement of the bridge is that these F holes here, you see the little marks where the where the, that sort of makes the F part of that shape. Um, you need to line up the bridge uh, parallel or in line with those little grooves there. So I'm gonna move the bridge back like so until there's a straight line. I just happen to have a ruler here. So basically you want it to be straight with those grooves as much as you can. Yeah, that looks about right to me. So that's mostly in line with those little grooves. And then I just make sure that the strings themselves are in the grooves on the bridge, which they are. And then the pressure of the strings, right now it's fairly loose, but as I tighten the strings, it'll clamp down the bridge and then it'll be secure. So if you, I uh, could refer to the tuning video that I made, um, or any tuning video. Um, you'll see how to get these strings to the right pitches. But, Caleb, can you put up the in-tuner thing? Yeah. Um, but I'll do a quick version right now. So I want to make sure that my strings get to the right pitch. So I'm going to start with the E. And push in the peg as I turn. Go slowly. And you want to get to an E5, which that is, and I'm pushing in the peg so it stays. Then I'm going to do the G string, which is the other end. So I'll secure the bridge on either end. Yeah. We're going up to a G3. Going slowly till I get there. There's the G3. 
Now I'm gonna go up to the D4, plucking the string as I go. That's basically a D4. And then lastly is A4. So plucking, yeah. Caleb's whistling the pitch for me, which is helpful, but you may not have someone who can do that. So just look at this, um, the screen until A4. And we lost some of the other strings along the way, but anyway. Okay, so it's mostly in tune. We can futz with it. You can check out the tuning video to see how to get it even more in tune, but at least now the bridge is back on and you can get back in the race. Okay, thank you very much.